Hiccup and Astrid share many moments in the How to Train Your Dragon franchise, but what many fans enjoy the most are the kissing scenes, so I thought it would be fun to go over the top 10 best Hiccup kiss scenes. Just so you know, this list is based off a poll I did on my channel nearly two years ago, along with my own opinion on these kiss scenes. Let me know down below if you agree with this list or if you have your own list. Also, subscribe while you're at it, as it would greatly help me out. So, let's begin. At number 10, we have the kiss from Season 5, Episode 5 of Race to the Edge, A Matter of Perspective. In this scene, Hickam and Astrid are walking back to their huts for the night after a long day at Vanaheim, aka the death place of all dragons. Astrid asks Hiccup how he figured out how to escape the Sentinels, and he tells her it's all about perspective. As he's doing so, he reaches for her hand, and they share a goodnight kiss before heading off their separate ways. You know what? I've had enough thinking to last me an entire week. I'm going to get some sleep. This kiss is loved for many reasons, but for me, it's just the pure casualness of it that's the best part. Like, I feel like they part ways like this every night off screen, and we were just lucky enough to see this one. Also, the way Astra touches his chest always gets to me. I love little moments like that. At number 9, we have the kiss from Season 4, Episode 12 of Race to the Edge, Shell Shocked Part 1. This was the first glimpse viewers really got of Hiccup and Astrid supporting one another as a couple and complimenting one another's talents after the events of the episode just before this one, which we'll get to later. There was also quite a bit of contact leading up to this moment, which fans really liked. During the scene, the two are discussing whether or not they should hide their new relationship from their friends or not, and they come to a deal that they would eventually tell everyone, but only when the time was right. Hiccup then raised his hand for them to shake on it, and Astrid does this. I personally like this one more than most because of the playful attitude from Astrid and, of course, how Hiccup was just completely unprepared. Also, what he says about her after she flies away is super wholesome as well. Yeah, I know. She's something else, huh, bud? At number 8, we have the first ever Hickstrid kiss. This happened right at the end of the first film after Hiccup had woken up following the battle against the Red Death. Astrid initially punched him in the arm for scaring her, and Hiccup asked her if she would always do that. I could get used to it. This kiss is just great, and it is of course loved by fans because it's their first mutual kiss. And for me, I love it because she really doesn't hold back at all, does she? She even pushes his body backwards with the force of the kiss. Although, if we're honest, back then it probably didn't take much to push Hiccup back. A light breeze probably could have done it. Anyways, at number 7 we have the infamous kiss scene at the end of the fourth season of Race to the Edge, Shell Shocked Part 2. This happened right after Hiccup had defeated Vigo Grimborn and Riker's Shellfire. Despite everything Vigo had done to them, Hiccup was still quite sad about his death, and he was comforted by Astrid. She told him that she should have listened to him, telling him that he was their leader and that their relationship couldn't get in the way of that. Hiccup told her to make sure that she continued telling him what she was thinking. He told her that he relied on her, and that's what made them, well, them. Deal? Deal. <gasps> this kiss is loved for many reasons by fans, such as how long it was, and the fact that they technically kissed twice. But for me, I love it because Hiccup knew exactly what he was doing when he reached out his arm. During the kiss, Hiccup even places a hand on her waist, which is just simply amazing. At least I think it's her waist. At number 6, we have the kiss at Dagger and Mala's wedding in the final episode of Race to the Edge. And this one is just really cute. Not much dialogue at all, just a nice little reminder for fans that Hickstrid is still going strong with a good, passionate kiss on the final episode. People really like this kiss specifically for how they hold each other, and I love it for the exact same reason, on top of the smile they share right afterwards. Just a cute little moment that deserves the sixth place. At number 5, we have the other kiss from that very same episode. Before heading into battle to fight the Dragon Hunters on Berserker Island, Hiccup pulls Astrid aside and tries to talk to her, but Astrid cuts him off, assuring him that they would both be fine. She grabbed his hand and told him how proud his father would be, which means a lot considering he was gravely injured at that time. Astrid also tells him that she's proud as well and kisses his cheek. People love this scene because of how Hiccup pulled her back in and how Astrid leaned into the kiss by lifting up a leg. I love it because of how Astrid put her hand on his chest afterwards as well. And Astrid is probably holding back the biggest of blushes ever. And at number 4, we have yet another kiss from Season 6 of Race to the Edge. They really spoiled us this season, didn't they? After the events of the episode Mia Morwing, 
I don't know how to say that. Hiccup pulled Astrid aside and apologized to her, admitting that he had been taking her for granted recently. After thanking her for always being there for him and always being by his side, he tells her that he loves her for the first time, and that he always will. This time, Astrid cannot contain that blush whatsoever. I know you do. We don't have to be like them. I mean, we have a different kind of- oh. This kiss is a lot of people's number one favorite for many reasons, most notably because of how he cuts her off mid-sentence. The score and setting of this scene is absolutely brilliant, but the reason I love it is because of one major reason. Their hands! Hiccup places his hands around her waist, which in and of itself is a crazy thing to see Hiccup Haddock do, and of course, Astrid's hands are just wandering everywhere, even after they break apart. It's one of the most passionate kisses in the franchise, and that's why it deserves the number four spot. Moving on to the top three, next we have the kiss at the end of the second film. Hiccup and Toothless had just defeated Drago and his Bewilderbeast, saving Burke in the process. As everybody crowds around Hiccup, Astrid walks up to him and playfully touches his chest. She seems to like touching his chest, doesn't she? And then she messes with his flight suit, something she did in the beginning of the film as well. That's hilarious. Come here, you. Ooh. Now this kiss is a fan favorite for many reasons, but most fans love this kiss because of Hiccup's confidence in Astrid's reaction. Mm. My favorite part about this kiss, however, is A, how close he pulls her towards him, and B, the look in both of their eyes when the kiss ends. You can quite literally see the love just swirling around in them, and this kiss is made even more special because it was right in front of Valka! Not to mention the entire village! Now, these last two were very hard to place because they're both so meaningful so I asked my Discord server for help ranking them. After some debate, I've decided to place Hiccup and Astrid's wedding at the number two spot. It doesn't take a genius to figure out why this is a fan favorite kiss. It's the culmination of Hiccup and Astrid's journey together leading up to this moment, triumphing over all the trials and tribulations of the three films, along with multiple TV series spanning over seven or so years of their life. It's especially meaningful in the context of the third film alone as well, because at the beginning, Astrid had flat out rejected the idea of marriage. Well, he's right, you know. Re really You think you and I should- Oh, gods no. We're nowhere near ready for that. No, that's- that's crazy. So their marriage here is a very special moment beyond the context of simply getting married. Finally, Hiccup and Astrid became the Chief and Chief Des of Burke. To the Chief and Chief Des! Yeah! Yeah! Fans love this one for many of the same reasons I just mentioned, but also for the kiss itself. It's very passionate and very pure. And of course, wandering hands? <laughs> I'm not weird. And finally, at number one, we have the blindsided kiss. This was a very hard choice to make, but in my opinion, this kiss takes the top spot. Throughout the course of this episode, Astra became blind and had to be cared for by Hiccup, and during that time, they had many moments where they could have kissed, and it was quite clear in these moments that they both wanted to. While sitting and watching a beautiful sunset, Astrid asked him if he had been trying to kiss her back in the woods, and Hiccup didn't deny it. She asked him why he didn't do it, and Hiccup told her it was because the moment wasn't perfect. They looked at the sunset together, realizing just how perfect this moment was. This kiss is loved by nearly everybody who has seen it, and in the timeline of Race to the Edge, it's the moment where Hiccup and Astrid finally became Hickstrid. They of course had kissed before, and definitely could have been considered a couple up to this point, but this kiss is what made it completely official. On top of that, people loved the way Hiccup held her hand, and how they held each other after the kiss, just in pure bliss. The reason I put this kiss at number one, on top of all the reasons I already mentioned, is because of how eager they both were. Hiccup leaned in and Astrid pushed back against him, and it wasn't a quick kiss either. Also, Hiccup's little sigh of happiness is just the best thing I've ever heard. <sighs> and there you have it, the top 10 best Hickstrid kiss scenes. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to join my Discord server, the link is in the description. Don't forget to also hit the like button down below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Take care. Bye-bye.